Diane, you're recently back from Wisconsin. Yes. Uh, why did you go and what sort of parallels do you see between there and uh, Maine? Wisconsin was amazing. Um, one of the reasons that I went out there was that I, I, I saw some uh, the writing on the wall here in Maine on a number of issues. Uh, we ha we're seeing uh, the so-called right to work legislation. Um, I basically call it the work more for less legislation coming to this state. And, uh, and there were a lot of things that were happening out there that were both good and bad. Uh, I saw a lot of the policy implications that could be coming to this state. Uh, you know, Madison ha and, and Wisconsin have long been a national model for labor rights um, and long been a good working class uh, progressive state. And, and there was a Republican takeover of the majorities. And it wasn't just that it was a Republican takeover, but it was uh, politically. But they, now they're pushing through significantly... Um, uh, they're pushing through really aggressive legislation that seems to run counter to the values of, of, of the communities out there. And I'm seeing this sort of similar thing that's happening here. For example, uh, like I said, the right to work legislation, the right to work for less, but also um, uh, you know, putting uh, the governor's proposal to put toxic chemicals back into baby bottles and sippy cups. These are sort of aggressive uh, policies that are uh, are out of a national playbook. These are not policies that have been developed at the local level to benefit local communities. So when I went out there, there were a couple things I wanted to see. I wanted to see what was happening. I wanted to understand what was happening on the ground in terms of what, what the policies really were. Um, and and that's that's the parallel. And while some of the the things that are happening out there are um, you know much worse than what's happening here, there are some direct parallels. When you um, get away from the workers' rights, for example, I serve on the Veterans and Legal Affairs Committee. Um, this is my second term doing so, and I, I serve there because I care about elections. I, I care about the integrity of elections. I care about election systems, and I want to make sure that people are able to engage at the ballot box um, in a meaningful in a meaningful way. And Maine has been a national model. I mean, I cannot emphasize this enough: a national model in terms of election policies, voter rights, good government practices. You know, people across the country look to Maine, uh, very much like people across the country look to Wisconsin for workers' rights. Mm -hmm. And there are a number of proposals that would undermine people's right to vote. Uh, it wouldn't take it away per se, but it would certainly undermine it. For example, there's a proposal that would uh, require all voters to present a, vo a photo ID when they vote. Now, for the vast majority of people, that is not a problem. We all have IDs in our wallets. But it's, it's the vast majority of people are not the folks that I'm necessarily worried about. I'm worried about the, disenfranchised, the already disenfranchised groups. This would disproportionately affect minorities. It would disproportionately affect young people, um, also elderly who no longer need their license, so therefore it might be expired. Um, there are a number of people who this really hurts. The developmentally disabled folks came to our committee and said, please don't do this. You don't understand the implications that this would have.